thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today, I am going to play with my Violet Voss I Love You Forever palette. I got this recently in a boxy charm um, pop-ups order. I don't think I've put it up yet, but I, I will. I'll put that video up at some point. But anyways, I had a request from Beauty Inside and Out, aka Sherry, if you know her channel. If you do not know her channel, then I will leave her link up here and down in the description box below. So if you'd like to go check out Sweet Cherry, Sweet Cherry, Sweet Sherry. <laughs> Sorry, Sherry. <laughs> But if you want to go and check out Sweet Sherry and um, give her channel a shot, that would be super duper awesome. I also decided that since um, I'm going to be playing with a new palette, that I might play with this new lipstick that I have also from Half Cake. I got this a long time ago on Boxy Pop Ups and I still haven't used it. And it also has two other shades, but one's a brown and one's a pink, and I'm going to be doing greens and neutrals. So I just figured the redder one would probably look better with that. I also figured that I can just do like a um, get ready with me, you know, talk a little bit about what's going on in my life. Okay, you do get a plastic thingy and here are the colors and we're going to see if this palette is as good as all the other Violet Voss palettes that I have. So here are all of the colors swatched and there is a couple of colors like Wink and Major Spotlight that I went in three times each and you can still barely see them and I Love You is um, looks like a more of a silver in the pan but when you put it on there's more of a green tint to it. But those are all of the colors swatched. So with Wink being the lightest shade, I'm going to use that for my base. So life has been pretty hectic lately. My household had COVID. Not everybody in it. I didn't have it and a couple of the boys didn't. There was actually three people out of the seven of us that got it. So I'm going to assume that the ones that didn't get it are immune to it or carriers or whatever because my husband was one of them that got it and I slept in the same bed with him every night. So we were always, well not always, but for the most part, we were ne right next to each other, you know. So, um, then on top of that, I have three female dogs in heat. Holy moly, like, not believe. I forgot uh, that um, it don't matter if dogs come from the same breed or not. Once girls go in heat, their brothers may want to hump them also. So I don't have any of them fixed yet. Um, I'm still waiting for my unemployment because they say I qualify and they say it says on my thing it says um, approved um, processing payment and it said that for like three months now and every time I call the unemployment office they tell me that there's nothing I can do to get it done faster, that when they get to it, they'll get to it. But I just heard that, all right, let's see. Now I think I'm going to go into the shade right here. Um, but anyways, I heard that we're going to be, the government's going to be out of the money the 18th of this month. And today is the 12th of October. So I hear we're going to run out of money. So I'm pretty positive if that's true, that's why they have not given me my unemployment. So anyways, with the three dogs being in heat, I have to separate the girls from the boys for like 20, it said on the internet, um, 
what was it, like 16 to 20 days or 18 to 20 days. But just to be on the safe side, we're going to keep them separated for like 25-ish, 30 days, something. I just want to make sure. I don't want no puppies. And I definitely don't want the brothers to mate with the mother or the sisters. So, um, and then when they finally do give me my unemployment, if I get it, if I get it, they owe me a lot of money. So I'll get the girls fixed then. But it's a little annoying because I'd rather them just tell me when I call that, hey, we're almost out of money, so you may not be getting it. Because I'm sure they know. I'm sure that they know that they're almost out of money. So little annoying but I am thinking about going back to work um, well I'm going to go back to work I've already decided that I am gonna get a job right now I'm just trying to decide what I want to do um, because I'm really picky when it comes to working unless I have to work and right now I really don't have to because my husband makes enough money so it's kind of one of those things that I'm bored and I just want to work. So since I want to work, then I'm going to need to like um, the job that I'm doing. So I just, I'm not sure. There's so many places hiring too and people are like, there's no jobs, there's no jobs. I can't find one. No, you're not looking. So then I'm going to go and we're going to try this color here. It's a little darker brown. This looks kind of pinkish. I wonder if that means it's a cool. Might, that might be what it means. Maybe that's a cool, um, a cooler brown. I don't know. I'm trying to learn my cools and warm tones because uh, I have neutral skin, so I can wear just about anything and it looks good on me. I mean, there's things that I don't like on me, but other people do, like yellows. I really don't like the color yellow or gold. Gold's just too much like yellow, I think. I think that's why I don't like it. Because I look good. I look good in um, yellows, and I look good in golds according to everybody that sees when I because I have worn golds before and I did a look one time with yellow and I, I got a lot of compliments I personally thought I looked hideous that's the word I like to use when I don't like what it look what I look like um, but anyways I think it's just because I don't like that color or those colors and so, no matter how good it looks like on me, I'm like, ew, gross. I'm ugly. It looks horrible. Because I don't like them. I also recently found out that I don't look good with red eyeshadow. I was playing with one of my palettes one day and decided to do um, more of a reddish look. No. <laughs> no, no, not for joy. But oranges look good on me. So it's weird. It's so weird. But red lipstick lipstick looks good on me but I did not like the um, reds and you know that tie-dyed palette that I got I've been playing with that too so I'm gonna do a video with it um, but I don't think I look good in them colors I'm a little bummed my husband says he likes it but you know what he's biased so I'm like, I just I don't know I just I'll wear them, but um, just don't seem like they're my colors. Okay, and then I want to finish this look off with um, I Love Me. Let's see if I'll be able to use a brush. Let's try this brush. So anyways, back to the dogs because I like to skip around when I talk. So what I've been doing is um, keeping the dogs separated, like locking the boys up and letting the girls run, or locking the girls up and letting the boys run, and then um, 
option to keep them separated. So like during the day, I have three girls in my room. And then when school gets, well, not when school gets out, because my kids are on the bus for like an hour and a half. They changed their bus route this year. None of them are happy about it. I am pleasantly pleased because that gives me an extra hour and a half without them. I do love my children, but I ain't gonna pretend at all like being a parent is all fun and games because it sucks a lot of times. Because I have a whole house of teenage boys. Oh, and two adults because my son just had a birthday on the 10th and he's now 18. So now I have an 18 year old, a 19 year old, 17 year old, a 16 year old, and a 13 year old. And they are horrible kids. They fight. I mean, they're not horrible, like, you know, breaking the law and stuff like that, but they're horrible as in they fight with each other. They're so rude to one another. I'm sure we've all done it, but when I went through my teen years, I didn't have five boys in the house. It was just me and my brother. We had our little differences, but I don't think we had them as bad as these kids do. I think it's ridiculous most of the time. I'm like, what? I also want to do the um, olive glow and um, put that kind of here to darken it. I've also been kind of trying to um, play with some different eye looks because I know I'm pretty... Um, I do like three different eye looks, maybe four at the most. But you know what? I have these really weird eyes and I can't just do every single look. So, and on top of my um, eyes being um, hooded, they're also starting to droop. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I'm 42, but damn. We ain't gotta be sagging everywhere yet, body. We ain't gotta be sagging everywhere yet. But my body's like, yes, biatch, yes. So <laughs> we're just gonna start sagging everywhere. So I went ahead and just finished everything up, and I think I was right. The redder one looks better. It is got a like brown. I don't know what is it like a brick, almost like a, you know, like bricks, like on you know buildings. That almost that's what it reminds me of. And I can barely see the name, so I think it's Bordiax. But it's probably not so I'm gonna have to make an eye doctor's appointment because I normally don't have problems with reading anything um, I just have a hard time reading because I'm dyslexic but anyhow I'm not gonna tell you what I used if you want to know any of it just let me know because I think that just takes up too much time and I don't like to waste too much of your minutes that you come and hang out with me I want you to put them to good use so Sherry this is the look that I came up with I do hope that it helps you out. Um, if you want some more ideas, let me know and I can throw a look together and send them to you on Instagram or something. Um, but I do think that the Aloe View palette is really good. It's pigmented enough, it blends plenty, and I can put the shimmer on with a brush, which is always a plus in my book. Anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed watching me try out some new makeup, and I hope that my rambling on about my life wasn't um, too boring, but I appreciate every single minute that you come and hang out with me. I do have so much love for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome, and peace out, awesome crew.